Vincent, you're not hiding anything from me, are you? Looks like I was the only one hiding something. <sighs> Rumors are bullshit. Fuck curses. <sighs> I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your class. One style of cocktail that requires the most experience and technique to create is the pousse café. Normally, cocktails are stirred thoroughly, but this is a cocktail you cannot mix. The bartender creates a beautiful rainbow inside the glass by carefully layering differently colored liqueurs according to their densities. But what's the best way to drink this? Mixing it will ruin the effect. And if you don't mix it, it stays separated. Perhaps the agony of indecision is part of the Pousse Café's appeal. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty? Erica, I need a drink. Take your order. Whiskey. Sake. I'll take a beer. Beer. Sure thing. There you go. Keep on drinking. Hey, about those nightmares. Is it true you're all? <sighs> Whoa. This is really spooky. That man's voice. I've heard it somewhere before. Oof. Stupid as I am, I just have to give up and move on. Oof. Sudden, but here's some trivia about whiskey, now that you've emptied your glass. Do you know what the strongest distilled alcoholic beverage in the world is? The strongest alcohol in the world is spiritus, or rectified spirit, a vodka made in Poland. It is distilled more than 60 times. It is 190 proof. But apparently, locals do not drink it. They use it to make homemade liqueurs, dipping fruits in it. And that was the trivia for tonight. Empty? You still want a drink? Yeah. Rum and cola. Sake, please. I'll take a beer. Be sure thing. Just wait. There you go. Keep on drinking. It was a rough nightmare, for sure. You all look like you're in really bad shape. Nothing's wrong with you? I don't have nightmares. I sleep like a baby every night. If you keep smiling like that, I'm gonna deck you. You can tell I'm happy. To be honest, me and Erica are... Uh, anyway, let's, let's have a drink. So what you gonna do with a girl you're cheating with? She doesn't know you're sleeping around with her, right? I'm a terrible person, that night. This is my fault. I'm not gonna run from it. You go, Vincent! I'm gonna break up with her tomorrow. Once I'm clear, I'm gonna... propose to... I'm sure it'll all work out. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Did you check the high scores for that game? Why are you boasting? Huh? What? I've got the high score right now. What, really? Oh, well, uh, I'll beat you soon. You guys are really into that game, huh? Yeah. Look, Vincent. You're not hiding anything from me, are you? Looks like I was the only one hiding something. are bullshit. Fuck curses.
I heard the word cheat. After that, how did things go? Like shit. It ain't getting any better. It doesn't matter anymore. I've decided. I'm gonna break up with that girl. I figured it out. I want Catherine by my side. I plan on telling her about the affair one day. I don't know if she'll ever forgive me for it, though. Well, it seems you have come to a conclusion. I hope it leads you to a good ending. You got mail. You're re-challenging the nightmare. Are you ready? Hey, tell Johnny and Orlando, okay? All this nightmare talk really worries me. <laughs> I don't believe it. Dreams are just weird. But have you seen the news? One of the victims was a regular here. He was a good man. If this stuff keeps happening... Anyway, you don't need to worry. Okay. Good evening. Would you like to speak? Would you like to speak to Martha? You can't accept the dishonesty of politicians, can you? You can't accept the rising cost of goods, can you? This one? Mr. Justin would say the same thing. Did you know that Mr. Justin once interviewed a ballerina? Did you know she was Miss Anna's best friend? Did you know that it was Mr. Daniel who made Miss Anna stop crying? I see. Mr. Archie died this morning. Mr. Morgan died this morning. What? It's two days until the time of freedom. You got me. Guy, you're not looking so good. We will continue the story of the mysterious series of deaths. Nicholas Clark, age 29, was the latest victim. What a grisly story. <sighs> Archie Wallace, age 28. Archie? <sighs> oh my, Archie? These deaths are hitting close to home these days. Morgan Cortez, age 42. Morgan? <sighs> Did she just say Morgan Cortez? That's the officer who used to come here. Kevin Taylor, age 31. That concludes the current known list of victims. If we learn of any new information... I'm tired today. I interviewed another woman today for a different story. She's pregnant, but she's marrying a man who isn't the father of her child. And she's not going to tell him that he isn't. It's the truth. Seriously? Yeah, but I hear it happens all the time. She doesn't actually know who the father is. So among all the possible fathers, she went for the one who was the kindest and the dullest. He'll raise the baby, believing it to be his child. I'm sure he'd be happier if he didn't know. I don't think I agree with that. I hear that in any romantic relationship, feelings decline over time. One theory is that love is a drug, like alcohol or cigarettes. Repeated exposure makes you numb to it. That is, it's only hot and heavy in the beginning. It's the truth. You got mail. Shh. 
Shit! I can't look at this in public. I need to check this out somewhere where no one can see. Sorry you had to see me like that yesterday. I mean, is that really what you want? I mean, don't you love him? We're past the age of believing we'll have no problems just because we're in love. You too. But... He's adopted. He's been working hard all his life to repay the parents who raised him. He fought his way through, dealing with pressures all this time. He's a truly pitiable soul. I knew that I wouldn't be able to marry him. And that he was going to become someone else's from the very beginning. And now that day has come. Uh... Cheer up. Uh, don't patronize me. Let's do this! One more time. 